Happy April Fool's Day, everybody! Welcome to my April Fool's Day special. Today we're going to be looking at pranks and toys, and that was supposed to be a relighting candle. Ah, that's just the beginning of the fun. First we have Snappy Gum Pack. And you'll see that the word gum is actually in quotes, because there's no gum. You offer somebody some gum, but instead, they get their finger hit or snapped by a little mouse trap. And it's good for kids ages four and up, so I guess you can injure toddlers with this, and that's great. Also, it says here, trick your friends, because, hey, if you really need a life philosophy, what's better than that? So let's open up this package and, oh, boy, destroy its collectible value. And it seems like a fairly substantial pack of gum. It actually, uh, it's glossy and it's shiny. And I am delaying pulling this out because I know it's going to hurt my finger. So let's just do it right away. It missed. Okay, well, let's just try this one more time. I'm going to reload it. I just got to put this back here. I can't believe I'm reloading this. I'm, I'm trying to injure myself. This is wonderful. Okay, here we go. Well, that didn't work. Next we have these rattlesnake eggs. And they were brought back to me from South Carolina by my good friends George and Elena. Thanks, guys. Now it says on the package, caution, keep in a cool place to prevent hatching. So I have, for a while. But for the last few minutes, they've been under these hot lights, so I'm a little bit concerned, if you know what I mean. And also a little bit curious. I want to see what these rattlesnake eggs look like. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, there's a little rubber band mechanism in here that makes a scary sound when you open them up, when you're expecting to see rattlesnake eggs. Moving right along, we've got these hot pepper candies, and they're from our friends at Forum, and they are a choking hazard, which is amusing because they're candies and they're a choking hazard. I imagine all food should have this warning on it. Anyway, let's open them up and give them a shot. You can see here on the back the uh, ingredient. It's mostly just sugar with a little bit of uh, capsaicin which I think is the stuff that makes hot peppers hot. So, <laughs> let's give them a shot, shall we? Now, this could trick you. It looks kind of like real candy. It's not the best color in the world. It's a little orangey, but you could be fooled. Oh, it's hot right away. There's no delay. It's um, immediately spicy. I feel the sugar kind of wearing away. My tongue is now a little bit numb. Now, I'm not expecting fire to come out of my mouth, but this is freaking hot. Am I changing colors? This is a good prank right here. And now it's time for the featured gag of today's special. Blood red soap. Soap that when you wash your hands, turns everything blood red. Now a few episodes, quite a few episodes ago, I tried a toy called black face soap, which is supposed to do the same thing except with the color black. I hope this is a little less disappointing. So let's open up the package and check it out before we start. And I see here, it's, uh, it looks a lot more like soap than the black face soap did, because the black face soap had a big mark in the middle that you can easily see. Uh, there is a sticker on the back, and that's a little suspicious. <laughs> it does hide a little bit of red right there, but honestly, if you just put it down like that, you can easily be fooled into thinking that that was actual soap. So let's, ooh, it smells like soap too. It's got a rather nice fragrance. Anyway, if you want to make some yourself, the ingredients are on the back of the package. I'll put them up for you right now while I grab some water. 
and a hand towel. Now let's give this gag a little washing. <laughs> oh, my hands are dirty. I must wash them. Thankfully, I have this little bar of soap. Suds it up a little bit. Oh, that's nice. And when it does, it suds very nice. It's very nice sudsy soap here. Ah, uh, yes. And I look out the window at what a fresh, beautiful day it is. Ah, oh, just happy that my hands are getting nice and clean. And my hands are getting nice and clean. They're not... Where's the f foaming red? I see there's red coming out of that little spot there, but... I mean, frankly... Um, all it did was clean my hands. Thanks for joining me for this April Fool's Day special. And now as a special treat and finale, I've taken the rest of the relighting candles and taped them together as one giant relighting candle. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, share this with your friends, subscribe to the channel. Who knows what else kind of fun we're going to have here on this video channel. Until next time, Ta-da! Ta-da!